coming up on this episode of Let's Play Kotar. Alright, time to put on the sand people robes. Oh god! Oh, they stink! Jesus Christ! God damn, that sun is bright. Oh man, I don't, know, I don't know how you stand it out here, Mr. Jawa. I don't know how you do it. I just, I don't know. Oh, uh, um, uh, what's going on, Box Bros? You guessed it, it's the Box Man here, and welcome back, finally, to Let's Play Kotar. We really gotta try and get that mine without freaking dying this time. You know what? Now's a good opportunity. Jahani, do you know how to recover mines? No, of course you don't. We'll get out mission, but anyway, guys, I know it's been a while. It's been a long time since we did an episode. I had a lot going on, uh, and on the IRL scene, you guys know how it is. Uh, but but we're back, baby. What can I do? What? We're back and we're ready to go on the attack because wandering out in the desert is definitely uh, not the thing to do on Tatooine. Definitely not. So we're gonna have to go through this horde of. Wait, what? Oh no! Okay, it looks like we're getting jumped. Great. And there's- wait, there's Raid over here too? Oh, shit. Wait a second. We were all the way over there. How are we over here now? Okay, I don't know what's going on, but this, uh, this could be bad. Alright, I'm gonna have to take a few, uh, stimulants. We're not gonna take any- any chances here. Everybody take a stam stimulant. Jahani's like, but I don't do the drugs. I don't do them. I don't care, Jahani. Take the goddamn stimulant. Oh, here we go. Looks like the raid aren't gonna bother us. Hopefully it stays that way. Oh boy, here we go. God, they're all attacking me? Good lord. Alright, Basil, why don't we break this crew up a little bit? Force Whirlwind right in the middle there. There we go. Yes. These guys are tough. Uh, we could probably kill this one if we just, like, focus him right now. There we go. He did! Uh, he's kind of frozen. Let's everyone get this guy down. Jahani, put a force slow on him just in yes. case. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm dead apparently. God damn it! My first time back in how long and I gotta get my ass whooped this quick? Come on, Bastila. Oh, shit. This could be bad. <laughs> this could be really bad. Bonk. There you go. Good job, Basila. Okay, help Jahani take this one out. Come on, come on. Nice. That is what a Jedi can do. Good work, ladies. Oh God, no! Jahani, Jahani, stop it. it. Stop it. Stop. It's time to stop. God damn it, Jahani! Oh my God, you're worse than Karth. You see someone that you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Alright, we better do a force heal and uh, double med pack it up. Anyway, we gotta really pack it up and get the hell out of here, honestly. This is not good. This is this is uh, really not good. Alright, let's uh, let's try a force stasis on this one. Your wish. Oh god. Okay, how about how about this one instead? Oh no, Bastila, come on, Bastila. Oh shit, cut the tape, cut the tape! Ugh. Oh, god, I'm trying to escape from this stupid thing. At least he got slowed. Alright, alright, we'll, we'll, we'll make it out of this, boys, I, I promise, we'll make it out of this. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay, now that I think about it, Basil probably could take this thing out solo, so, uh, let's go ahead and heal her up. Alright, stasis. Nope. Nah, okay, well I need the stasis to hit. And these things really don't give up, do they? Wow. There we go, Christ. Alright, please die. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, come on, Basil. Oh, God. 
It ain't over till the fat Wookiee sings, boys. It's not over until the fat Wookiee sings. All right, he's fucking dead. Come on, Basil, get behind him. Come on. Oh my god. How are you gonna miss three times, Basil, when he's frozen? This just don't make no freaking sense at all. Oh, man. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's try it again, or maybe... Yeah, Force Whirlwind. Yeah, now that's it. That's it. Look, look at this big dumb ass. Goodbye. Well, congratulations, Basil. You're officially a hunter. All right, well, somehow we got to recover our dead bodies, uh, which seem to be surrounded by the raid still. Oh, I thought that was them. Shit, you guys just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> okay. All right, without further ado, guys, let's actually get this episode on and go take out them sand people. All right, so we're gonna be real tactical about this. We're gonna we're gonna attack them in a uh, triangular formation here. Solo mode on. Hey, hey, I said solo mode on, ladies. All right, I'll attack from the left. Basila, you attack from the center. Your wish. And my wish is for you to attack from the right. So we'll start it off uh, by chucking in some grenades. We don't have a whole lot. We do have a lot of concussions, so the concussions could actually uh, do some work here. Before this, of course, we're going to do more stimulants. Battle stimulant for me, and some stamina. I don't want to take the stimulant. I don't care, Jahani, all right? Yeah, apparently, Jahani's all anti-drug. I mean, I, I can respect it, but in this game, you gotta take the drugs, man. I'm sorry. It's just the way it be, you know? All right. Everybody is looking good now. Concussion. Followed up by some lightning. Concussion. Followed up by the whirlwind. Concussion. Followed up by another whirlwind. All right, let's do it, ladies. Shit. Okay, so where are we at now? All right, Jahani's fighting one of them. I guess her thing must have failed. Yeah, he got saved, of course. So Jahani, just start uh, hitting him with the lightning. I got this guy. Shit. Okay, well, I leveled up. That's good. That's fantastic, actually. I'll use that in the middle of the fight. Oh my god, Jahani, you're crazy. <laughs> That's that force jump, boys. All right, I'm going to uh, activate everybody's shields. Oh, that was the last tick of my Arcanian Energy Shield. What do you know? Let's go ahead and get a, a world. Well, you know what? Well, let's conserve our force for now. We, we got most of these guys CC'd and everything. All right, I'm looking uh, a little unhealthy. Okay, hold on. Advanced med pack. Oh my God, man, the damage these guys do. All right, Basila, uh, I changed my mind. Get a force world one on him, please. What there we go. It? He's in it. <gasps> There's more coming from the right! Alright, alright. He's he's CC'd, so let me help them. Alright, let's do a bit of a self-sacrifice here. There we go. They're all stunned. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. There we go. Yeah, let's take this one out, Basil. Good idea. Uh, oh, Jahani could be in trouble, though. Jahani, just get over here. Get over here. Oh, he's almost dead, though. Alright, Jahani, hit, hit him with the old uh, force jump there. I don't really feel like it. Oh, come on. I thought you were going to force jump. Another one just spawned right freaking there! You gotta be kidding me! <gasps> Basil is dead. Oh shit. Dude, 42, 45, and 93? Jesus Christ, man! Alright, we gotta heal a little bit. Um, and then figure something out here really fast. Jahani's looking like that one girl from the meme right now. <laughs> you guys know the one I'm talking about. Wait, what? What? Is that a grenade? What the fuck? Oh, shit. All right, so Jahani did manage to kill this one. That's good. See, not having any CC is, like, really crappy. <laughs> Fuck it. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, what's up, Bubby? What's up? Oh, no, we need more. We need more damage than that. Jahani's really killing it right now, but she's also getting killed, so... Life support pack. You know, Jahani, don't go thinking I don't care about you now because I just gave you one of my three only life support packs. Damn. All right, I'll try to help you, Jahani. Hold on. 
Nice. Oh, God. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, get him, Jahani. Get him. Get this piece of shit. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! We're quite the team, Jahani, I gotta say. I gotta say. Damn, Bastila. You know, getting your ass whooped like that. You know, I'm, I might have to tell the council about this, Bastila. I might have to tell the council. Anyway, we cleared him out. Good lord. You know what? That wasn't anywhere near as bad as all that shit we had to endure going through the freaking desert. Now, we found some sand people robes. Hmm. You've acquired sand people robes. They should allow you to pass yourself off as a sand people warrior, at least from a distance. They may make entering the sand people enclave a little easier. All of the non-droid members of your party would have to be wearing robes for the disguise to work. Since you don't have robes big enough for, to fit Zalbar, his presence would certainly give you away. Well, sorry, Big Z. Looks like you're not coming. But that's brilliant. Yeah, we can use the sand people robes to disguise ourselves so we can just sneak in there. I mean, it still sounds like a freaking suicide mission, I'm gonna be honest. But it's the only way we're gonna rescue those Jawas so that maybe they'll help us find the star map. Only way we're gonna find old Griff. And there's also that guy Jet, who was, uh, the miner's friend. So there's a lot of people to look for in there. So if we can sneak in and search for them, I mean, that's perfect. And then all these gaffer sticks we can turn in for a buck as well. Alright, so we're gonna take Mission, since it's her brother that's in there. And we're gonna take HK for the translation. Because if we do get caught, Ready. it might be good to have our translator with us, <laughs> right? Sure. Alright, time to put on the sand people robes. Oh, God. Oh, they stink. Jesus Christ. You ain't putting on this shit. Mission, you gotta put it on, alright? It's, it, it's what we gotta do, okay? A few moments later. Ready. Oh, Lord. What? Oh, this is horrible. Oh, God. I guess I'm not gonna need my lightsabers. In fact, I might want to equip a gaffy stick to make it look even more convincing. Yeah. You too, Mission. Oh, God, this is horrible. Oh my god, guys, it literally smells like donkey dick in this thing. Oh my Christ! Don't ask me how I know what that smells like. Yeah? Alright, Mission, you're also gonna be good for this. Recover these mines, please. That's an average. Sure. I might wanna get away. <laughs> what? Ready? What? What? What the hell? It didn't work? Was your skill too low, Mission? Come on now. Oh no, okay. It's just because I switched off. Alright, we should have a direct path to the Sand People territories. Whew, let's go. I'm telling y'all, I got a real bad feeling about all this, but uh, we gotta do it. We, we, it's our best bet, I guess, to find the star map and, and rescue all the people. Like, I still got my shield on. Now, this place looks a little familiar, doesn't it? I feel like we might have been here when we were wandering out in the desert, or, or maybe close to here. Shit! You know, if we were near the Sand People Enclave that whole freaking time... Oh, well, it doesn't matter now. Look at all the Banthas. Like a bantha. Them sand people sure do like their banthas. Look, even the banthas think we're sand people, right? Like, they, they'd probably attack us. No, or maybe not. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he farted, bro. Oh! Christ, man. Why is everything so disgusting around here? Sand people just living in filth? At least we're getting a lot of free minds out of it. Look at this poor, poor soul. Yo, Mission, maybe this is Griff. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Sorry, Mission. Huh? I'm sure he's fine. Oh no. What if the sand people get suspicious? It's like, wait, why are you picking up those mines? Yeah, look, he's getting pissed. Sure. Uh, we better stop. All right, no more mines for now. Let's just try and get inside. I mean, there's the entrance right freaking. <laughs> Ready. All right, let's recover this one since it's right freaking here. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. They're being fooled. They're being fooled. Here's a corpse. Another poor soul that probably tried to escape the sand people. Oh, man, look at these turrets. They're not attacking us. Okay, that's good. We got little turrets too. Oh my goodness. Well, we're here. We're at the entrance. Holy shit. That was easier than I thought. Oh shit, there's a guy right here. Right, maybe, maybe, maybe he won't notice me. Yeah, let's just, uh... Oh, shit. The Sand People Warrior has obviously recognized you and is astounded that you are here. Your disguise may have allowed you to pass the turrets outside, but it is ineffective at close range. Oh, shit! Interjection. One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Damn it, I really didn't want to go the peaceful route here, but... 
Huh. I guess we could use HK to get out of this situation. If we start a fight now, we're going to have the entire Enclave on us. Like, I was hoping we'd sneak in here, find the Chieftain, assassinate him in secret, get his gaffy, and get the hell out, as well as maybe the prisoners. I don't know. But we've already been discovered, so at this point, I think our best bet is to use HK to try to negotiate. Huh. And then we'll have to try to assassinate the Chieftain at another time. Well, quickly, tell him that we are not a threat, HK. Translation. <laughs> I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. What? We have shown an interest not common among outsiders. Oh, an interest, huh? Huh. I don't know if you'd call it that. Well, the best thing to do is to apologize for being here and tell him that we want peace. For now. Translation. Translation. He is expressing disbelief. As am I, but his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but it is your call. Hey, 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 hey! What are you doing with my clothes? Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. This bastard. He, did, he stripped me a mission down. I can't believe this. <laughs> Tell him to surrender or face death. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely not a good idea. Again, we are in the heart of their enclave. If they turn on us, especially while we're freaking naked, we're as good as dead. So, tell him we want a peaceful solution. Translation. Translation. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. What? Your kind have tainted this land with machines and uncaring, ignorant feet. Translation. He requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Oh. Shall I blast him now, Master? You know, I, I'm really about to say so, HK. <laughs> See if he's holding the Jawas Izzes was looking for. We might as well try to get that out of him while we're here. Translation. Translation. He refuses to waste breath on you until you are proven to be an ally of his people. He seems quite adamant about it. Please, let me blast him, master. <laughs> okay, ask him what the hell he wants. Translation. Translation. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead. Really? But they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation, he wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. Reduce? What do you mean reduce? The attacks must stop altogether. Translation. Translation, he says that will never happen, Master. What? Ignorant outsiders continually desecrate their most reverential customs. Whoa. This will always demand a response. An attitude I can respect. Protocol. From his perspective, a reduction is already a large step. It is doubtful you will get agreement on much more than that. I don't care what their customs are. Honestly. <sighs> we must find a way to stop them indefinitely, but for now, we have to play along. Tell him that we will get his evaporators. Translation. <laughs> Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. I don't believe you. We will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Ah, oh, damn it. Can you guys believe that shit? What the hell? Even through the layers of wrappings, you can tell this sand person warrior is disgusted by your presence among his people. Now these sand people are racist! Extrapolation. This guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us. Alright, we're gonna leave quietly. 
He looks past you like you were never there. Puh. Yeah, these sand people really, really hate outsiders. It's, uh, it's pretty clear, but I think it's a miracle that we were able to just get in there and get out alive. I mean, all thanks to HK and his translation abilities. So you've been brought before the Sand People Chieftain. He will order the attacks against Zerka Corporation to be scaled back if you bring him moisture evaporators from the Zerka office in Anchorhead. You will not be allowed back inside the Enclave until you have the evaporators. This whole thing is bullshit, but if we're gonna get back in there peacefully and sneak up on the Chieftain, we're gonna have to get the evaporators. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Let's Play Kotar. Wow, that was something. We were in the Sand People Enclave and freaking survived. I don't know. In the next one, we'll get the evaporators, head back into the Sand People Enclave, make nicey nicey with their chieftain, and when he's not looking, wobble -wa blam, baby! And then we'll blow the whole place to kingdom come. <laughs> As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been The Box Man. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as always, for more outstanding Let's Plays. And until the next episode, me and old HK47 will catch you later. And, uh, and Mission 2, of course, yeah.